First of all, we fixed a few glitches. Uh, you can't drift on a wall while you're climbing a wall now. It was an old glitch. And now, when you dive, you actually go faster. First of all, I did more than just add mobile controls. So if you don't want to add mobile controls into your game, you should still watch this because we, we also do some other stuff. Anyways, for the mobile controls, we basically changed the entire mock input. So as something, I brought the old mock input and a new mock input. Now I'm gonna explain, okay? So you know in the old, old mock, oh first of all, one small thing you need to add in. Add local mobile equals false. And then you can see, you know, just add these, just add this. Don't worry about what's inside here, just add this. And add these, I'll ex explain what these are later, okay? Just add, just, okay, so once you're done acting, adding, adding this, you'll see all this inside now what is that it's actually it's actually not even that hard to understand if you go into old mock input you can see something called us that input begin basically you want to highlight everything inside of here everything inside here and put it inside the if state equals user input state that begin now once you do that you might notice over here it says key that key code and over here it says key Oh yeah, make sure you do these two. Name it exactly how I did. Basically, we're using context action now, uh, and yeah. So basically, you, you want to change everything to like just a string. Like for example, key dot key code equals enum dot key code dot v is now just key equals v. Then, then okay. Now once you do all that, uh, also if you mess this up, it's it's also in the it's also in the thing. And also if you, I know a lot of you guys make custom keybinds. For your uh for for the things Pepino does, but just revert them back to the old keybinds. Just for this video, I'll tell you how to how to easily change the keybinds at the end of the video easily. And these are the names. Uh, this and these are making the mobile buttons. First of all, for these for these buttons, you literally can uh the second string is basically the text that appears on the button. And also uh one quick. One quick effect uh, for mobile, we're, we're making uh, the mock run the, sh the left shift. We're making the mock run thing. If you're playing mobile, it's gonna be a toggle, which means if you click it once, you're gonna mock run. If you click another time, it's gonna stop mock running instead of just holding it down. So yeah, you have all of these. Uh, and if you want to change keybinds, don't change any of these. Just change this. So if you want to mock run with like I don't know why for some reason, you change this to Y only change the this part do not change the key code part so once you do that uh this one I'll, i just add this inside the old mock input inside of the left shifting it was just this but now i want all this basically this is the toggle thing yeah this is the text if you're in mobile if you are it does a toggle if you're not you still hold it down okay the next thing you might notice is the state that use input state that end Basically, you see this in the old mock input. You see this US dot uh, input ended. You want to copy everything inside here, put it inside this. The first thing that changed is old mock input. The left shift was this. Now it is. Oh yeah, and also change the names just like usual. Now it is this. Basically, this is, is something else to do with toggle. All you got to do is it's not really that hard. And once you're doing, once you're done doing that, you want to add this. This, but they basically detects if the users on mobile were not by detecting if they're touching the screen or if they're using a mouse. Okay. Anyways, another thing we ch uh, we changed is if you scroll down to the new mock input, I made we made it so you can only drift if you're on the ground. It's because people keep on dripping on while the wall climbing. So yeah, just add this around uh, this thing. It's, it's not really that hard. So the, now this is where it gets tricky first of all if you see in the old mock input we have it is not inside here it is not inside here either we have this and so the new one we added an extra thing on here this this extra you see we yeah we we did we did not have that in the extra thing and base and basically uh this is again for the mobile toggle thing. 
Yeah, you just gotta add this inside, and yeah, that's, um, that's basically all you gotta change, I think. Oh yeah, one more thing. And the old mock input, uh, inside of the US input begin, you had, uh, wait, wait a second. You had all of this, uh, you should delete that, and inside the input ended, You had this you should delete that also and yeah that yeah that's yeah that's yeah that's just a new this new mock input anyways uh, another thing we changed is the dive actually is a dive now people keep on claiming it doesn't make you go forward now it does except I think I made it go a little too much forward uh, you'll see when I play test yeah, you see in the dive we have added a we deleted all the vector force stuff we added and we added this and that's basically it